All right, time for episode three of Spy Fox and Hold the Mustard. Oh, we have that to select. Mr. Fox is going to cause me trouble. Yes, yeah, we are. So we're here there in seems Egypt to now. Be a strange signal being broadcasted from within your area. It might be what's controlling those robots. If you can find the source of the transmission, perhaps then it can be shut down. That'll put a stop to these agricultural terrorists and their tomato pilfering. I'll be on the lookout, Monkey Penny. See, like that could be the final world, or it could be like, um, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know. If this is the final, if we finish the game this stream, though, like, wow, I'm gonna have to find another, <laughs> gonna have to find another short game to start streaming alongside this. <laughs> Granted, there's no shortage of short games that I can play. But still, I was definitely expecting this to last at least till the end of, like, at least till the end of January. <laughs> But again, like some of the some of the junior arcade games have like a hundred levels. Some have like two hundred levels. Some have fifty levels. And some of them are borderline impossible. Looking at you, lost luggage. <laughs> and Circus Stormin. Although I guess Circus Stormin's not a true junior arcade game. Still hundreds of thousands of robots left. I have no idea how many levels are in the game, because it's a blind let's play. I do kn I just know we're in Egypt and we're blasting tomato thieves. While listening to sick guitar solos. Rush it down. Here we go. Spy Fox is continuing his uh, his mass <laughs> uh, destruction. Spy Fox destroying all these robots is gonna tank the economy. I missed the part where that's my problem. <laughs> Spy Fox, you've been watching too many Bully McGuire memes. They aren't even that funny. How dare you? <laughs> I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> all right. This this isn't witty commentary. I need to think of something else to talk about it fast. <laughs> Ooh, oh I know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Chat on this one. Where, if you could go anywhere in the world, like take a trip anywhere in the world, all expenses paid, where would you go? I think all expenses paid might change it a little bit. Because obviously there's a lot of places where it's like, oh, I'd love to go to like this place in Europe or this place in Asia, but it might be a little expensive to do that. But assuming you didn't have to worry about finances and it's just like, hey, this place interests you, want to go. <laughs> where would you go? Hawaii? Nice. Japan? Yeah, Japan's a popular one. My sister wants to go to Japan. And I'm like, I'm not opposed to going to Japan, but I would need someone to go with me to help like translate because I know zero Japanese. There's a lot of cool stuff in Japan, though. Really, there's some really cool landscapes. They've got the Studio Ghibli Museum. They've got Super Mario Land. Plus, there's a couple of visual novels I've played where it's like, hey, if I go there, I can visit the places that are in this visual novel. Oh, he has homing missiles. <laughs> Egypt is the number one Japan is that Ooh, Egypt. That would be interesting. I'm not sure what I would... Like, normally I would say Ireland, but I'm actually going to Ireland this year, so... Assuming that this is separate from that, I might have to pick something else. Germany would be cool. Germany has got a crazy amount of history. Yeah, Germany would be cool. Also, obviously, there's going to be some... Uh, no, pretty much no matter what time you go, there's always going to be risks of, like, how safe is it to go there. But uh, Israel would be really cool, too. I'm a, I'm a big Bible history nut, so, like, being able to go to these places, like, wow, this is the place mentioned in the Bible. Like, do tours for that. That would be really cool. And would probably make me see a lot of parts of the Bible in, like, a very different way. 
But at the same time, it's like, pretty much Israel is always at war with at least one of its neighbors. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Bowser's name is Koopa in Japan. I remember that because uh, in Melee, you can change the announcer's voice to be Japanese, and when you select Bowser, it's like, Koopa! And I'm like, that's hilarious. It's a foreign language. Is Saturn not... N n no. When I said any place in the world, that implies on planet Earth. Oh, yeah, there's... Japan has Cat Island, Bunny Island, and I think Fox Island. Or at least those are all... Maybe not all in Japan, but those are all in Eastern Asia. Also, if it wasn't for the government... China would be a pretty cool place to visit. I wouldn't want to visit there with the current government. And there are also several places in China where it's like, Haha, no, no, I don't want to go there. But, like, it's such a big country and there's so much stuff there. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do in China. But it would just be like, okay, what part of China? Because, uh, surprise, you can't tour the whole place in one visit. <laughs> Like, not even close. I also would say France, except I really don't like cheese that much. Or wine. Pretty much every... Like, pretty much anywhere in Western Europe, I'd be like, Oh yeah, that would be cool, because it's, like, generally very safe, and there's so much history there. And it's not too much of a drastic culture shock for me compared to the USA. Whereas, like, once you once you go to, like, the African or Asian countries, it's like, wow, it's like a completely different culture over here. And you, and you, it's, you're, there's always the fear where it's like, oh, no, I did, like, a peace sign. Is, is that, like, really offensive over here in this country? Like, I can't, I think it's in Ireland. Like, the word pig is, like, a way bigger insult over there than it is here. Like, obviously it's rude to call somebody a pig here, but, like, it's, it's like, a petty insult. Whereas over there, it's like, no, that's, like, a really, really offensive slur. And, like, you will get beaten up in the streets for saying that word. So it's just, you know, there's always stuff you've got to research before going to a new place. Especially if you're going to a place where there's alcohol involved. Which is, like, the entire world. Oh no, they're making off with the tomatoes! Gotta stop them! Blast them down. How about a slight variation on that question? And it might be the same answer, but... That pyramid must oh. be the source of the transmissions. Something tells me that it isn't calling for its mummy. Which place would you want to go in order to experience its cuisine? Because that's that would give me a very different answer, because... I love Western Europe. Most of Western Europe is not super well known for its cuisine. Having said that, I would pick Italy. <laughs> Good night, DX. Ow! Oh! Spy Fox, did you crash into the pyramids? It's literally massive. Sorry, Quack, I thought it was just in the background. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can have pizza without tomato sauce, but the the alternatives are nowhere near as good. Like, pizza using pesto as the sauce, like, I respect it. Pizza with, like, a white cream sauce? Sorry, I ain't, I'm not eating that. 
I don't care how famous Wolfgang Puck got for his, like, cream salmon pizza. Like, that that's not for me. Oh, wait a second. We blast the pyramid. <laughs> White pizza's over. No, no, it's... Well, you know what? No, no, that... that I was about to say something that, was, that would be uncalled for. You know what? If if you like pizza with white sauce, good for you. I am happy for you. Just please don't serve it to me. All right. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna just bring up the fact that you like coleslaw. <laughs> I'd be like, well, why should I even trust your opinion? You like coleslaw. <laughs> Ooh, that should be a poll. Who in who here in chat likes coleslaw? Or if you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment letting me know if you like coleslaw or not. And if you do like coleslaw, how? <laughs> Never tried it. Like, I just, I don't see the appeal where it's like, hey, what if we took this off-brand wilted cabbage that nobody likes, doused it in mayonnaise, and made it, like, so wet? Like, it, doesn't that sound great? Like, that sounds absolutely disgusting. It's like, well, you don't knock it till you try it. It's like, all right, you know what? Hey, fair enough. Maybe it's actually good. You try it, you're like, nope, this is disgusting. They're like, this is the only side you get at barbecue restaurants. I'm like, why? That did it, Fox. Spyware <laughs> agents are reporting robots shutting down all over the region. Good job, Fox. Great. Now I need to get out of this pyramid before I become a museum piece. Please tell me that wasn't the last level. Level complete! <laughs> oh, it's now we're in the passageway. So now we gotta escape. Alright, alright. This is giving me slight Maze Madness vibes, which is a good thing. <laughs> there are 101 levels. Okay. So we're not at the end, that's for sure. Uh oh. That's not the right way. We did it! <laughs> that guy is uh, stuck. He's not having a good time. That looked like it was the way out! Am I wrong there? <laughs> It looked like it was like an open valve. Spy Fox, I just got word that you crashed the spy mess right into a blatant wall. It looked like there was a doorway. <laughs> there was literally solid rock in the way, Spy Fox. I thought that it was like one of those Donkey Kong Country levels where you can pass through the seemingly solid wall. <sighs> how did you how did you graduate spy camp anyway, Spy Fox? <laughs> you know, Quack, I've had enough of the lip. <laughs> This is why we this is why we didn't make any more Spy Fox games after this. That that hurt a little bit, Quack. Not gonna lie. The wall is a lie, apparently. Wait, is this a get out of here mission or is this a kill all of the enemies mission? Like if I go because as far as I can tell, there's no way out right now. So, like, if I go backwards and blast all the ships over here, is that going to be level complete? Because it definitely sounded like they're like, hey, we got to find a way out of here. No, but on the subject like, of coleslaw... I, I don't know what's wrong with this, but, like, when I went to Texas, the barbecue was fantastic. Okay, it was kill all the enemies. The barbecue was phenomenal in Texas. The sides at the barbecue restaurants were really bad. Like, I don't know why, but, like, they're like, what if every single side here was, like, doused in mayonnaise? I'm like, why? There That's the Texas way. I'm like, okay, but, like, there's there's got to be an alternative, you know? Like, how hard is it to have a good potato dish as a side dish? And they're like, oh, we got that. It's called potato salad. I'm like, I know what that means. That means 90% mayonnaise, like 5% onions, and 5% potatoes. No, thank you. 
Look, I'm not completely opposed to mayonnaise. It can be a solid base for a variety of sauces. But I don't want to have just mayonnaise by itself or like have that be the dominant flavor. That's what I'm saying. Only barbecue sides you know of are be oh, Okay, that's the other thing. Beans. I don't like beans. I can't get behind that side. Mac and cheese wildly varies. If done right, mac and cheese can be really good. But also, I don't really like cheese being the dominant flavor in something either. For me, mac and cheese is only done right if it's like pretty mild on the cheese front and if it's like baked in the oven so that way like the cheese on top like crisps up and i don't i don't like it like swimming in cheese or cream in the middle like no 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 that's that's nasty and that is why when i eat at barbecue i get barbecue meat with a side of like ribs <laughs> Which is weird, because, like, we've got barbecue places in Michigan, and they, like, yeah, if you want, you can get the classics, like, collard greens, mac and cheese, coleslaw, baked beans. But, like, they also have things like, hey, fries, hey, cornbread. Like, I don't want to say normal stuff, but, like, stuff that pretty much anybody can get behind. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a whiny little prick. That's completely possible. Oh. Okay, keep your distance before you blast them. These little guys pack a surprising pump. Oh, what on earth? How many enemies were in that one ship cluster? Because it looked like I only got hit by one thing, and it's like, oh, there goes all your health, Spy Fox. Are you about to crash another spy mess? That was a rhetorical question, Spy Fox. You distracted me, quack. <laughs> I repeat, how did you graduate from spy school? <laughs> Well, I don't know, Quack. Is it called Professor Quack Hold the Mustard or Spy Fox Hold the Mustard? I'm just saying we're, we're spending a fortune trying to repair this mess. <laughs> this time Quack's just constantly critiquing everything Spy Fox does. I think my gosh. Do it up again. Okay, we gotta be real careful. We are at very low health right now. Ooh, is that a health refill? I don't know what that did. I don't know what the red token power up did, but uh, we cannot allow ourselves to get hit again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think we got any points for that. <laughs> Jeez, how big are the pyramids? Like, we went inside the pyramids for one level, destroyed the core of it, and it's like, now we've got to escape the pyramids by taking this elaborate series of underground tunnels. Like, couldn't we just fly out the way we came in? No, we've got to pad the game out for more. People paid $20 for this at release, and we've got to give them their money's worth. That's fair. I'm all for giving people enough content. I just want the content to actually be good. Like, adding an extra hour to the game by <laughs> forcing us to do dumb, boring stuff is not an improvement. Similarly, this is why, like, uh, there are people to edit down movies to trim the fat, so to speak. We are definitely on thin ice right now. Which is funny, because we're in Egypt. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Pfft. 
I was worried that guy had glitched into the wall, <laughs> and we wouldn't be able to blast him. That would have been real stupid. <laughs> Passageway level five. Okay, almost flew right into the ceiling. I know you're excited, Spy Fox, but please try not to fly a loop de loop. <laughs> and crash the spy mess. It's okay. We still have another backup. One Spy Fox. Do you have any idea how much these cost? <laughs> I got news for you, they're not cheap. <laughs> Taxpayer money is going to these. Why didn't you say so in the first place? I would have taken better care of them if that were the case. I just, you know, I figured we work for the government. Where else does the money come from? <laughs> oh no, every time I crash, I'm going to get angry people. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if those crates are solid. I'm going to assume that they are and avoid them. Alright, is there a way to like loop around on the top? Perhaps not. There's a way to loop around underneath. That one little bug deals so much damage. My goodness. 43,000, not too shabby. Passiveway level 8 has a secret exit, which gives you more levels. To Ooh, okay. That's two levels away, so we gotta make sure we're ready for that one, I guess. Beep, 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 beep. Good job. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying good job to myself. It's like I'm trying to say that to Spy Fox, but, like, obviously he can't hear me, so the Twitch chat it just comes off as, like, why is Artie constantly, like, <laughs> complimenting his own skill? I'm... Quack, I thought that was supposed to be invincibility. That doesn't give you the right to just fly the spy mess into the walls. That's another $100,000 of taxpayer money down the drain, Spy Fox. <laughs> Doggone it. Okay. So that, this is like an insta-kill glitter power-up. It, it does not protect you from smashing into walls. So I actually have to be careful flying through here. Good to know, good to know. It's hard to trust the hand. Right, well, mo the, most of the Humong Us Entertainment games are do a good job of being like, oh, this is the important stuff that you can click on and interact with, and this is the stuff that's just part of the background. Like, I don't know how they do it, but it's pretty much always really obvious just by the visual way they look. But then sometimes they don't... Sometimes they don't make it that obvious. And I don't know if it's just like they have different artists who didn't really know how to capture the original way they did things, or if it's like just sometimes one art style doesn't translate well over to the other. We go level complete we have no extra lives so we gotta gotta be good about this all right passageway level seven okay so the silver crates i'm pretty sure are solid object. well actually they just kind of flew through them i'm still going to assume unless i absolutely have to cut through otherwise shoot there was a power up at the start that we missed oh well <laughs> To be fair, like, these robots aren't really doing anything. They're just like, hey, why are you flying through our private tunnels and, like, trying to hit us? But, like, they're not stealing tomatoes anymore. So, Spy Fox at this point is basically just blood thirsty. <laughs> like, I could just escape out of here, but I need to shoot every single ship down first. <laughs> this is, I thought this was supposed to be a kid's game. <laughs> Spy Fox, it's important for you to be a good role model towards the kids that might play this game. Got it. I'll make sure to shoot them as humanely as possible. <laughs> oh yeah, the metal clouds. Those, I forgot about those. Alright, it's level 8. Passageway level 8. 
So secret exit, meaning that, like, if you don't shoot all the enemies? Don't clear all the robots. Go to the center of the map and shoot at the big crate at the top. Got it. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, we're low on HP. Okay, so that's a pipe. Oh, oh, oh. Level complete? Okay. I don't even know what I shot at, but apparently I well, completed the... Well, Mr. Fox, how unfortunate for you that you have blundered into my secret hideout under the sea. I'll be sure to provide you with a very unwelcome reception. Oh, really? Very unwelcome. Uh-oh. Atlantis, level one. All right. So we found the lost city of Atlantis. Keen conglomerate had it the whole time to make mustard products. It's like, must hide this hidden city which grows mustard seeds for me. <laughs> This literally changed from, hey, stop them from stealing the tomatoes, to murder, to kill every last one of them. <laughs> like, real fast. I just really identify with Dimitri from Fire Emblem Free Houses. Spy Fox, he was a mass murderer. <laughs> he was just misunderstood. <laughs> Quack's just growing, like, progressively <laughs> more and more concerned about Spy Fox's, like, crazy behavior. <laughs> it's like, why is he doing that? Spy Fox discovered the lost city of Atlantis. It's okay, we can sell our rights and make a fortune. If anybody gets that reference, I will be astonished. Uh-oh, we're running out of fuel. It's okay. All the remaining enemies, I think, are in here. Oh, baby! Oh! I thought that would be a shortcut. Spy Fox, you discovered the lost city of Atlantis, and then you crashed the last spy mess. Now we've got to take out another loan from the bank. They're not going to keep letting us do this indefinitely. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine, Quack. Ooh, I, I, hey, I'm a big fan of Spy Fox cutscenes in general, so I'm sure it'll be awesome. So if we're already going towards the secret exit, this implies that we are actually kind of somewhat close to the end of the game! If this is 101 levels, this definitely doesn't feel like 101 levels. It's like you're not even trying to aim, Spy <laughs> Quack, how about you just sit back and let me do my thing? <laughs> you know what, that's a fine idea. Let, let, I'll watch it like it's a TV program. With real life stakes. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to playing Spy Sly Cooper. <laughs> also, if this game has a custom level editor, I have no idea how that's gonna work. <laughs> Those ships in the middle are obnoxious to go and get. Yeah, please, please no spoilers. You're joking. Arg! 
Alright, no more Mr. Nice Fox. <laughs> We're getting the power up right away this time. Also, try not to blow up the actual Lost City. Just the robots. Sorry. <laughs> Oof. But the second hand damage is gonna happen. Oh, I like this power up a lot. How come we haven't gotten it until now? the heck? I thought there was supposed to be a pipeline that led up... Oh. There it is. How did I miss that? Is this a permanent power-up upgrade? Because that would be pretty rad. Boom! <laughs> Oh man, the power up wore off. Now I've got to go back to regular old bullets. Oh, doggone it! There's one enemy freaking trapped in the other part of the pipe. These levels are getting annoying. I, I swear I looked on the radar and there was nothing over there. Oh my gosh. Bye, Fox. If you crash another spy mess right after having a game over. You can't be serious! I blasted it! <laughs> wow! That was literally the last enemy. It was a mutual kill! Can't we count that as a win since I had an extra life? Nope! All the enemies respawned. <laughs> Gotta do it again, Spy Fox. Oh my goodness, I don't like this at all. <laughs> I mean, it is the bonus levels. It's like the Lost World in Donkey Kong Country. Like, you're gonna have tough levels. Right, there we go. Boop, everybody in the glass tube. Now we can go and get the power up. Aw, oh, yeah. There's one ship over on that side. He's like, uh, well, actually, I don't really want to die today. Like a little punk. All right, you last stupid ship. Prepare to face oblivion, finally. <laughs> Level complete. It's not showing us the extra... I guess we're not getting a bonus score. Maybe that's why. So you're playing so badly that we, you don't deserve a bonus score. Oh, we you know the bonus score was just for if you got tomatoes. That's why. No more tomatoes, no more bonus score. exact same level layout? Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this really feels like it's the same exact level layout. <laughs> no, they're, they're not that lazy. <laughs> they're all... Cr they're crashing into the glass! How come they're not blowing up? Oh, I might have... <laughs> I might have, uh, pumped nitroglycerin all inside the spy mess by Fox. <laughs> well, that would explain a lot. Yeah, I, I liked the Donkey Kong Country 2 Lost World. I did not like the Donkey Kong Country 3 Lost World. I think there was only, like, one and a half levels in the DK Country 3 Lost World that I actually enjoyed. The others were just like, why is this even in the game? Oh, come on! Where's the up... There we go. 
I am literally going to run out of fuel. No, I'm running out of fuel. Blast them off screen, blast them off screen. Some fuel. No, you don't. You completed the level. Oh, we were using our reserve fuel, that's why. So the red part is actually still part of the fuel and air. It's just letting you know you're getting low. Okay, never mind. I was wondering what the red stuff was. I thought it was a separate meter, but no, those are just the lower ends of both the meters. I see that ship down there. I gotta admit, uh, a lot of these levels just feel like it's more of the same. Just like, oh, we're going through pipes. Oh, good. We found an extra mess around here. Oh, yeah. Donkey Kong Country... Donkey Kong Country 2 is amazing. So, here's what I'm saying. I think Donkey Kong Country 2 is the best game in the Donkey Kong Country series, but the f Donkey Kong Country 1 is my personal favorite. And that's because, like, I love the theming of DK Country 2, and I love playing as both DK, Diddy and Dixie. But DK Country 1 doesn't have a single level that I'm like, this is just absolutely awful. Like, all of the levels, at least in some regard, I think are pretty fun. Whereas DK Country 2 has a couple of levels that I'm just like, this is really, really bad to play. <laughs> Bramble Blast! <laughs> Okay, that level was a lot easier than the last two. Alright, Atlantis level four. Gonna try to get to the end of Atlantis and see what's there. If this is like the final set of levels or not. Because I don't want, like, next time I play Backyard Baseball to be like, well, we're playing Spy Fox, hold the mustard for five minutes, and oh, we beat the game. Those tiny ships are the worst, because they hit just as hard as the others, but they're way harder to shoot. I like all three of the DK Country Trilogy games. I think three is definitely the weakest. Mainly just because it was very experimental and gimmicky from a level standpoint. And, like, sometimes the level gimmicks were like, this is amazing. And sometimes they're like, yeah, this isn't good. <laughs> so it was, like, its greatest strength and its greatest weakness. The third game, though, has, like, unbelievably good graphics. For a Super Nintendo game slash GBA game, like, my gosh. Super realistic, like, settings. And I also like, with the GBA port, we have two unique soundtracks for that game. And both are good. I personally prefer the GBA soundtrack a lot. But the SNES track still has some good uh, music in it. Booyah! Now it's time to dispense some justice. All right, this might be the end. Strong wrongdoing. <laughs> Stop wrongdoing. It's now safe to turn off the city. <laughs> we're, turn we're literally depowering Atlantis right now. You may think you've stopped my base of operations, Spy Fox, but my robots will still carry out their objectives. Even now, they are stealing tomatoes in the Western Hemisphere while you sit here playing with the dishes. With you locked away, King Conglomerate, your days of mustard mayhem are at an end. Ah, don't relish the thought. You haven't <laughs> caught me yet. My personal submarine is waiting to carry me off. Soon I will be rid of ketchup and its sickening presence as well as you. Goodbye, Mr. Fox. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes, evil laugh. Now to affect my spectacular escape. <laughs> Don't push the wrong button. He pushed the wrong button. What? <laughs> All right. Wait, what the? Oh, what? <laughs> Can't believe you did it. You finally did it. You blew it up, my darn dirty ape. I will get you, Spy Fox. Oh yes. He's not nearly as cool. You. Hmm. Looks like I've been left in quite a pickle. I love the puns, but wow, big that is actually the biggest plot twist in Spy Fox history. Wow! That's pretty shocking, but honestly, I prefer Keen Conglomerate as an actual gorilla. But wow, that's a legit plot twist in Spy Fox. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> wow. All right, so the game's clearly not over. It looks like then you have to go to the Western Hemisphere. All right, all right. That's very interesting. <laughs> oh, that was great. What was that? Was, was that... Was that basically Doofenshmirtz? Oh no, I pushed the self-destruct button by mistake, Barry the Platypus! Curse you, Barry the Platypus! <laughs> wow, that was... That was a top-tier cutscene, that was. Alright, well, on that note, I think it's that's my cue to end the stream there. Wow, what a, what a plot twist. <laughs> That was that was great. That was fantastic. Thank you for setting me down this detour of extra levels, because I definitely needed to see that cutscene. Anyhow, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We'll be playing more Kingdom Hearts Recoded on Sunday at 8 p.m., and then we'll be continuing Backyard Baseball and Spy Fox next week. Hope you guys tune in for that. Otherwise, I wish you a great rest of your night, a fantastic weekend, and God bless everybody.